frame how to display any web pages within the frame and all stuff that is uh, we have seen so far that is how to display a frame in a column manner uh, in this tutorial we are going to work with the uh, uh, frame set uh, display in the row manner if you want something like display your form in the row manner uh, you just have to include here as a rows boom this is just we have to do nothing else just save your document go to your browser and press F5 so here, ha here we have a web page displaying in a row manner this is the first page this is the second page and this is the third page okay so this is how you can display your web page in the row manner uh, another uh, I just want to tell is that whenever you are uh, displaying that is in the frame set you are including a row or column you can either give this value in a percentage format or in the uh, or in the pixel format uh, that means that if I am just uh, going to do like 250 pixel 250 pixel and uh, now it is possible that we don't have uh, idea about what is uh, entire pixel of our monitor so what should we have to do is that this is 250 pixel and this is 250 pixel which makes it 500 pixel so we don't know what is the remaining part of our monitor so we can what include is that star star is nothing but uh, useful uh, to allocate the space to a web pages that is a last page page to a remaining part of a web page that means that 250 250 and 500 pixels are allocated and the remaining um, uh, pixels uh, it can be allocated by the third page uh, that allocation you can done using a star it means that allocate all or the space to a third page so 250 pixel for first page 250 pixel for the second page and all remaining pixels for the third page so just save your document go to your browser and press F so here we have 250 pixel 250 pixel and remaining pixels so this is how you can work with it okay um, when you are working with the calls it is same like that just you have to include a calls just press F1 so here we have 250 pixel 250 pixel and remaining part when you are working with the this kind of uh, pixels you can either omit this px that is pixel if you are including just value 250 250 star it is ok it is not going to uh, give any difference between a page okay either you can include in a pixel format or you can include in a percentage format okay the entire screen you have is of 100 percentage so this is 25 25 and this is 50 percent go to browser press f5 so this is 25 25 and 50 so this is how you can uh, give a value to the call and row attribute as a frame set has a attribute that is calls uh, it also has a val attribute such as a cl id it has also has a value such as a class it has also has a value as attribute as a star Woo, what are that don't get in confusing because this all attributes are just useful when you are working with the CSS if you don't want to include this attribute it is okay for now so if you are including uh, CSS in your document then you can include, uh, include this type of tag so if you don't have any idea about CSS tutorial uh, in the next series I'm going to teach you a CSS so just watch my next uh, series that is CSS tutorials uh, 
so come into the point uh, another we have a frame attributes in the frame attribute contain a source that is used to display which page you want to display that is the URL of the page another attribute we have as a name that is name of the page okay you can give any name as per your requirement this is just to describe your page nothing else and it has also useful um, for a target purpose in case we are using a, a what is called as a hyperlink so don't get confused we are going to see all this thing uh, the next attribute we are going to see is that max length sorry uh, nothing else that is a margin height and margin width before that we are going to sing that is a frame border so frame border is just going to uh, use we are going to use for a, one purpose that is if you want don't want any frame uh, border then you can use a value that is a zero and if you want a border stylish then you can use a one so it takes a two values either zero or one if I'm putting zero and pressing the document it is not displaying anything uh, and no changes are made in, in both of them uh, I don't know why because it is a Firefox uh, new version which had to show all this difference but it is not showing any difference just go and check in your browser it is showing or not and just uh, comment below the next attribute is that um, margin height margin height takes a parameter in a pixel uh, you can either write like this pixel that is sorry uh, or you can either omit this px so I'm just remaining that like that margin height so if you are including margin height look what happened just press F5 boom we, we have shifted our first dot HTML from the top of the margin so it will give a margin from a top that is uh, from a height if we change this to margin width so it will make sense to have a margin from a left side so here we have a margin from left and right side okay so this is uh, how we can use what we have this is a margin width and margin height another thing we have is that no resize I don't know this is going to work in this uh, browser or not but jo just go and check in your browser if it is working no resize attributes is nothing but whenever you are see, uh, watching this tutorial uh, in this tutorial we have seen that dividing a frame but user can easily interact with this frame if you are not using a no resize if we are deleting this no resize saving the file press F5 the user can easily interact with this frame without any hesitation that you can change a value of the frame we don't want like that we want that it should be a fix in the length as we have uh, given to the web page so we can include whatever that attribute that is called as a no resize just include no resize equals equal to no resize so save your document press F5 so whenever you are going to drag and drop it will not allow you to drag so it is a uh, static for a web page okay it is not allowing you to drag and drop uh, your frame anywhere so this is useful command that is no resize another command you have that attribute you have is that a scrolling scrolling take a uh, three values that is auto yes or no now we have uh, if we are seeing here we have a scroll if we are using here something which is called as a rows saving the file press F1 
we are going to see that we have a scroll to this page scroll to this page and scroll to third page if you want something like we don't want to be scrolled in the first page so we can use is that attribute which is called as scrolling scrolling consists of three values that is yes no and auto automatic means it, uh, it will automatically decide whether it you have to uh, keep a scrolling or not so if we include a scrolling is equal to no now we have a scrolling now whenever you refresh the page the scrolling of our first page will not be available as we have include a scrolling is equal to no so these are some attributes of a frame tag how we can use the frame set and frame tag in the next tutorial we are going to have uh, fun because we are going to work with the advanced tags advanced attributes of the frame tag so do not forget to watch my next tutorial thank you for watching guys uh, goodbye and thank you for watching